Hey, as promised, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I do my face, how I do a full face in 10 minutes, maybe a little bit over. I'm winging it, okay? So I'm just going to show you what I do. So I am going to put on some primer and I'm trying out this illuminating one, um, which is a new one. And um, I wasn't too sure. I've never used an illuminating primer before, so we're going to try it today. Why not? So um, I'm just putting this all over my face. Let's see what happens, see how this turns out. So primer really is literally like, if you think of when you're painting a wall that's got cracks and nicks in it, you prime the wall first before you put the paint on, right? It's the same with our face. It's like polyfiller. It fills in all the fine lines, wrinkles, blemishes it just fills it all in so that you have a smooth canvas before you put on your foundation okay so i've put that all over my face the illuminating primer i didn't put too much on it's a little bit scared because i've not used it before um as you can see i've got i've been picking so i've got a little mark there on my face there so what i'm going to go in with um first I tend to do my eyes first before I do anything else. I like to get my brows and my eyes done first before I do any kind of foundation. The reason that I do that is I find if I do my eyes after I've done applied my foundation, I make a mistake on my eyes or if it's eyeshadow and it falls out and it sticks to the foundation and I feel like you've got to do the whole face again. So if I do my eyes first, I can tidy up any mess before I apply my foundation. But there's no right and wrong. I think it's personal preference. So I've just brushed out my eyebrows with... This is the best eyebrow brush. You've got a spoolie on one end and you've got the angled brush at the other to be able to do your brows, which I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So I've brushed them through. Okay, so they're all laying in the right direction. And I use... I use a brow pencil. So this is the Sculpt and Style Brow Pencil. It's double-ended. One end is the actual pencil, I'm using shade brown, and the other end is the buffer, it's almost like a suede brush. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do my brows. So I start from the end, and it's literally just tracing the shape of your natural eyebrow, okay? When you first learn to do this, just take your time. Obviously, I've been doing it a long time now, so I'm used to the shape of my brow, but it really is just homing in on your natural shape and tracing it okay and just light strokes hoping you can see this i'm looking in my mirror here and trace and you can manipulate where you want to if you want a higher arch if you're going to do an arch you want to do it just a, in the center of your eye that's how you know where your arch will be it's always the center of your actual eye so you can see I've gone a little higher there to get the arch and then I come back down towards the tail end of my brow. And it doesn't matter if you make a mistake because we can fix it with concealer. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this. If I do one eye at a time, then you can see it properly, hopefully. And I don't always get them perfect straight away. <sighs> just little light strokes. Okay. You can see the difference now, right? Okay, let me quickly do the other side. And just take your time with it. And perhaps I'll do one showing you how to do it with a brow palette, because I know some people prefer to use a brow palette. I'm just, quick, I'm just quicker with a pencil. That's just my preference. And this eyebrow, I have less hair. <laughs> and this one I always find is a bit trickier for me. Okay. Okay, that will do. That will do, you get the gist. Okay, brows are done with the pencil. Okay, so once that's done, I then go back to my brow brush, I take my little spoolie and I use a concealer to tidy up. I genuinely rule that I've learned is two shades lighter than my natural skin tone because you're highlighting and shaping your, your brows. So I take a tiny bit off on the brush and then again, I just trace underneath 
the shape of my brows and just smooth it up the line. I hope I'm making sense. So I've got a cleaner line on my brows and I bring the excess concealer down towards my eyelid and just smooth it out. Now you can continue to smooth it out with a brush. You can do it with your finger. I swap and change depending on what I'm doing or what time I've got. I use my finger to buff it out, buff it down towards my eyelids so that I don't have like a definite line, but you can clearly see the definition of my, the shape of my eyebrow. Okay. And then I do the same on the other side. God, I feel like I'm racing against the clock to not make this too long, but it's hard to teach this while talking because you take up time talking, right? So, I am rushing this, and this is the first time I'm doing something like this, so there we go, okay, that's it, my brows are done, right, then if I feel like I need to buff them out a little bit, I go back to my brow pencil, I take it to the end, the buffer end, and I literally just buff through my brows like that. done brows are done I think that's the thing that takes the longest for me right so now that's done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my foundation I'm using the comp uh, complexion plus powder I love this it has sheer butter in it it's not drying like I never used to use powder foundation because I used to find it so drying on the skin but this is not drying at all it's not drying at all actually I need to do my concealer first just through just thinking okay so if you've got dark circles or bags under your eyes like I do okay you can use a concealer to hide those right and all you're going to do is use the same shade as your foundation because you're concealing you don't want to highlight right and do it underneath your foundation so if I put a little dot here you do not need a lot a little dot here and then you're going to blend it out now you can blend it out with your finger you can use a brush i think i'm gonna or you can use there is um a blending bud whatever you are most comfortable with i'm using the blending bud um for here i'm just blending it here underneath my eye and then i'm going to put my foundation on over the top okay just to smooth out the lines Hide the bags a little bit. <laughs> Blur it all in together. There. Okay. And then I'm going to put my foundation on. All right. So like I said, this has got sheer butter in and That's why I love it. It's not drying. And using the Kabuki brush is perfect because you can just dab it. You see, just dab it onto your skin. There's no rough rubbing. The bristles are very, very soft. And you can gently buff. It's quick. You don't feel it dragging over your skin. And you can build it up if you want to, but you can see I'm using very little and look at the coverage on that. Okay. It's very light on the skin, very, very light on the skin. You can't feel it. You know what, I didn't put, I should have put concealer here. I'm going to put one concealer here. Let me just do that. Let's see if I can just blend that out a bit. My own fault for picking. I'm such a picker. So literally, you're going to hide your blemishes. You'll just blend them in. Just put a bit of concealer on the area. Buff it out. And then go over the top with your foundation. Okay, so I'm going to do that here. There. You see, now that's not so sore looking. Now, if I really wanted to go heavy, I could probably get go over it even more. But I don't like heavy foundation on my face. I just want it, my face to have an even skin tone and just look smooth. That's it. 
I don't want to look like a completely different person, if that makes sense. Okay, that's it. All right, so my foundation's on, my eyebrows have been done. I'm now going to add some colour to my face, all right? And I'm going to do that with <clears throat> using our all-in-one Bare You Stick. This is our all-in-one colour stick. They come in a range of colours. You can use it on your eyes, you can use it on cheeks, you can use it on your lips. Um, and it's like a creamy blush, right? So I'm going to use, this one I'm using is called Cinnamon Latte. So I'm going to put just a little here on my cheeks here. And you can put as much or as little as you want. I always do the end of my nose. It's just a thing of mine. And I'm going to use it on my eyelids as well, okay? Um, I'm going to just use my finger for that. I'm literally just dabbing it on my eyelids. And then you can buff it out. And you can use a brush for this if you prefer. It doesn't matter. It's creamy, so. Okay, so I'm using it on my eyelids. And that's the shade, if you didn't see it. Cinnamon Latte, all-in-one colour sticks. And they got them in um, contour shades now that you can use it for contouring. Okay. Now, you can blend again with your finger or I prefer to use my blusher brush. Okay. And it's kind of like you're doing a C, like a curve when you're doing your blusher and come down to kind of here on your cheeks. So if you smile, it's just on the tip. Okay, and you can buff it out as much as you want or as little as you want, depending on how much colour you want. Okay, and I'm going to do the end of my nose. Don't know why, I just it's just a thing of mine. I've always, I don't know, I've always put blush on the end of my nose. I don't know what it is. I don't even know where I got that from. Okay, so I've got a little bit of colour in my cheeks, you see. All right, actually I might put some more on this side. I think I rubbed it a little bit too hard on this side and just buff it. There you go. That's a bit better. All right. And I've also got it on my eyelids. Okay. That's the all-in-one colour stick. So that's the colour added to my, my face. Okay. I've got some colour on my eyelids here. All right. Now, next, I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to go with Twisted today. This is the Two Wands Mascara. I always start with the smaller end. I should say the thinner end, the thinner brush, sorry, first. Because this really separates and defines your lashes. Can you see that? Look at that separation. Look at it. Just a couple of swipes and that's what I've got. Okay, so I always start with the, the twisted first, the smaller brush, the thinner brush. And get the separation how I, I like it. And if you're somebody that likes to do your bottom lashes, this wand is perfect because look how small it is. Look how tiny and thin it is. It's perfect for getting the bottom lashes. I don't tend to do mine because I always make a mess, so I don't. I've put that back in and then you unscrew by the rim and you get the thicker brush, the silicone brush. And this gives you the volume and the length. There. Look at that, it's amazing. I love, love, love this mascara. I mean, I love all the mascaras, but I've got a thing for Epic. I've got a thing for Epic and they brought it out in the Twisted with the two ones and it's like, this is, this is it. So Twisted is my favorite. There, see that? All right, so that is done. I always put on an eyeliner. That's just me. <laughs> I always put on an eyeliner, so I just use a standard black. Sometimes I use blue, sometimes I use green, depending on how I'm feeling. I'm just using black, and I only go halfway. I just find when I go all the way, it closes my eyes in. So I only go halfway on me. That's just me. That's just my preference. So that's just a black eyeliner. Okay. And then I have to do my lips. So, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to put my setting powder on first. So, I always use setting powder. I Well, sometimes use setting powder, sometimes I use the setting mist. 
but I'm going to use the setting powder today. So I'm just going to tip a bit into the lid. I'm going to take my setting brush. And this is a trick, something I learned. Um, you can use a concealer, a lightest concealer here to make your eye area here lighter. You know, you see that a lot of people do them. But I learned from somebody that you get the same effect using our setting powder. So that's what I've been doing because it's lighter on my skin. And our setting powder, literally, it blurs the lines. Like, can you see? It just blurs everything out. So I literally just put it, I just dab it in the places that I want to. I always do over my eyebrows just to make sure that they're set in place. And then I just leave it for a little bit, okay, while I do my lips. Okay, so my lips, I'm using my brown lip liner. This one's called Personable. It's like a woody brown. So that's the one. I just opened a new one, actually, because my other one just ran out. Literally, I use it all the time. So. Oh, I just knocked the lid bit off. See, this is what happens, ladies. I was so rough with opening it. I just cut the top bit off. That's what happens. <laughs> Here you go. So, again, with lining your lips, you're literally tracing your natural lip shape. And you can manipulate it by going just slightly above your lip line if you want to create the illusion of fuller lips. And literally, can you see how I've manipulated my, what do they call it, sweetheart? Because mine isn't very visual when I haven't got a liner on. And the lip line is very soft. It's very smooth. It's very, very, uh, it's not like you don't feel like a pencil's digging into your lips, you know? Um, and because it's soft, that's why I knocked the thing off because I was so rough with it. Look, I knocked the tip off. Oh my God. And then I rub it together. I smudge it out. Okay. And now I can take off my setting powder. I use my big, fluffy brush and I dust off the excess setting powder like that nice and simple and then I finish my lips with my lip mask the original lip mask okay I'm using my lip brush and I literally hit over the top And look how that changes the way my lips look and the colour. That's literally the lip liner and a lip mask. And that is it. Obviously, I'm over 10 minutes because I was talking. But literally, that would take me 10 minutes to do. Full face ready to rock and roll, ready to go out, and I haven't done anything major, major. I hope you enjoy this, and I hope it helps you do your makeup too. It doesn't need to be deep. <laughs> Thanks for watching.